<laughs> we're going to be doing 15 and 16, intimacy and sex and performance. So when Jason looked at it, he was like, ooh. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay, I got this. <laughs> but actually the ooh was probably because of the, the energy, the electricity that happens whenever we bring this topic up. <laughs> okay, so. Um, I'm going to just read it. In intimacy is one of the most surprising effects of mastering the power of up. And so we write, perhaps it should just be left up to, this one should be just left up to the imagination <laughs> of the hero. <laughs> but since you're writing your guidebook, you can make it as explicit as you want. Yes, yes. Talk about how you think, if you read the other context and say, this is what up, how up changes creativity and innovation. This is how up changes health and wellness. How would up change intimacy and sex? And <laughs> I can almost guarantee you have no idea. <laughs> it's millions of times better than you can even comprehend. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Okay, so 16 is performance. Up means bulletproof confidence. So, um, so why would confidence be helpful in performance? Mm -hmm. And I actually just listened to a TED talk of a woman who is a um, musician and she was in theater. And when she was on the stage, she had so much poise and control and her voice was so modulated. Like it just, her voice effortlessly conveyed emotion in the most smooth, beautiful way. Like I was so impressed because sometimes TED talks are educators who aren't used to being in front of the big crowds and so then their performance, even though their content's amazing, their performance may be less. So when she brought, I thought it was bringing confidence, confidence in her ability to share her message, confidence in her ability to connect with the audience. It was really powerful. So the hero will be ca comfortable and capable of creating a close connection with the audience and yeah, I can totally see this is true. I've experienced it in my own life, my own opportunities to be on the stage and be in front of people and yeah yeah I've watched it from the audience <laughs> thank you yeah there's actually when I get nervous and don't have that confidence there's this sing-songy kind of tone in my voice which it's almost like I'm I'm blocking all of you <laughs> like, oh, I'm scared and so then I go into this storyteller voice that's very sing-songy and, um, but when I get very confident and very purposeful in my message, and you may, if you're watching my lives, you may see an ev see evidence of both of these. When I'm doing that, oh, here's my message. Uh, and then other times where I'm like, so like on fire with my message. So yes, up does increase your ability to have confidence and to perform. So yeah, I guess it would apply to any kind of performance, mm -hmm. sports or any kind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya.